Well, we're here with Ironman WA winner and first-time Ironman champion, Courtney uh, Ogden. Congratulations on a great day. Thanks very much. Yeah, had a good day. It's a fantastic day out there and, uh, you know, made the running and paid off. Pre-race, all the talk was Pete Jacobs and could he go out 240, could he hold it? You're sitting there watching all this unfold, reading it maybe in the media. How were you going into this race? Were you worrying about those guys or is it just a question of race your own deal? Oh, for sure. I was worried about the competition. I was worried about Pete, obviously, after the... 241 in Hawaii. I was worried about Luke and obviously Patrick, who's won this, won this race a couple of times, and you know, a couple of the other guys are solid, Manny White. You know, of course, I was worried about him, but uh, you know, you just you just see what happens on the day. You know, I had a great, I had a great swim, and I was right there. Um, then you know, took the running on the bike and mixed it up a bit. Yeah, got off the bike in second. Bit down on Luke, and uh, you know, from there anything can happen because the last few times I raced Luke, I've, I've passed him on the run, so I didn't think that was totally out of the question. Obviously, I was concerned about Pete from behind um, in Hawaii, he just absolutely bounded by me in Hawaii at about the 10k mark of the run, and uh, you know, but uh, I didn't think that was going to happen again today because I'm running a bit better. I've been running better in training, so, but, you know, I wouldn't have been totally surprised if you came past me, you know, at the 30k mark or the 25k mark or something, but, uh, but there are plenty of, you know, turnarounds out there to have a look at the competition, and so I was keeping a close eye on things, and, you know, the guys weren't making up a lot of time on me, and then I was slowly pegging Luke back. Um, Luke was running well for a couple of laps, and uh, you know I thought, oh, he might hang on. But on the third lap, he really started to struggle, and then he had a bit of a toilet break. And as soon as he did that, that was the end of him. I think, you know, I could sense that that was it. And I ran past him. I knew that was it for him. So you've been close a few times. You've had a couple of narrow misses. What does this mean for you to get this final uh, Ironman M dot victory? Ah, oh, you know, I've been. I think I've had. Five second places and you know a few thirds and a couple of fourths. But it's always nice to win. It's been really nice to be number one. That's for sure. You know, I thought I, could, you know, I always thought I could do it, but I just haven't been able to quite get there. But you know, it is pretty. Uh, it's a fantastic feeling to finally do it. Well, we've certainly enjoyed watching you today. It was great watching you slowly, slowly reel the winners, <laughs> the, the leaders in and getting the win. So congratulations okay. on a great day. Thanks very much. Great to work. Appreciate it.